and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a chatty chill get ready with me using a lot of the products that I purchased in my most recent Sephora haul video. But before getting into that, I did just want to take a moment to address everything that's going on in the world with the Black Lives Matter movement and my stance on it. I did make the decision to silence myself and take the last like 10 days off from YouTube and Instagram just to help elevate and um, highlight the black voices that really should be speaking out and are important to hear from right now. Um, I have been sharing all of my thoughts very vocally on my Instagram stories. Um, I am going to make a highlights little Black Lives Matter highlight on my Instagram because I think it's important for you guys to go on and see what I'm doing to support. I have been doing a lot of research. I have been educating myself. I did participate in my local Black Lives Matter March. I am planning to do a full black owned beauty products YouTube video so that will be coming within the next month or so. It'll take a while for me to get products here in Canada but I think it's honestly better if I post later down the road to remind people that the this isn't a one-week trend this is a movement so yeah I'm not gonna get into everything too much here because I want to save a lot of my opinions and references and recommendations and stuff for that video when I post it that is something that I wanted to address before we got into it because I do think it's incredibly incredibly important right now yeah I hope you're doing everything that you can in your power as well so we're gonna start off by priming with the Lila B a glow priming oil this little guy is so expensive for what you get. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I said I was gonna go ahead and wait a month or like a couple paychecks to purchase the product, but I just seriously couldn't stop thinking about it. That's how I get in my head with makeup. So I went ahead and purchased just the mini and I'm so happy that I did. This might be my new favorite primer, even like over my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It just feels so smooth and like buttery and glowy and healthy and like hydrating on the skin, which is everything that I want. I normally just focus on hydrating and then also a little bit of a glow and this product provides both of those things in one. Um, it's not like a shimmery glow. It doesn't have any shimmer or illumination beads or anything like that in it. It's really just illuminating in the fact that it's very moisturizing and dewy. Today we're going to try it with the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. I'm so excited to try this. I know it's not new, but I never tried it and I just thought I would pick it up. So I did. This is what it looks like if you've never seen it before. It has a pump, glass packaging, super nice. I actually like the sleek packaging with like the foundation on it. Some people think it's tacky. I think it's kind of cute. And I got mine in 120W and I think this will actually be a good match for me. So that's how it's looking with probably like a half pump I did. Um, it is a little bit on the yellowy side, but I don't think it's too bad for me. I can definitely get away with it. I prefer a more light medium buildable foundation. I don't typically like foundations that are like heavy right off the bat because I like being able to just customize it based on my skin is doing better or if it's not. My acne really tends to fluctuate so I don't always need a ton of coverage but sometimes I do so I like being able to customize it and build up foundations depending how my skin is doing that day. Looks really nice with the primer as well. That finish is gorgeous. This is how the foundation is looking with like three pumps probably. I probably use one pump for this cheek, one full pump for this cheek, and then like one for my forehead and nose area. So probably about three pumps. I love the finish that it has on my skin. It's not like accentuating the texture on my acne scars. So I think it looks really, really good. Now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This isn't new to me, but I realized I didn't pick out a concealer. So we're just gonna go in with this guy. This is in Fair 20N. So I'm gonna take this on all of my spots to conceal my acne and then under my eyes as well. And as I said, my acne is not doing well right now. So we're gonna be concealing a lot of my face blend that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I am so obsessed with the finish of 
this foundation, the coverage, um, I think it's just the combination of the primer, foundation, and concealer just looks really, really lovely together. My skin looks so healthy and plump and smooth, even though I have like a lot of acne and texture going on right now. I am going to go ahead and lightly set my face all over with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter, going in directly with the powder and setting that area. Hopefully this will prevent creasing bringing that down to the sides of my nose as well and lightly go into this charlotte powder set the rest of my complexion just super super lightly so here's what the skin looks like set with that powder i can definitely see why people rave about this i'm very very picky about my powders um loose powders and press powders and i really really like this it didn't take away too much of like the healthiness to the skin didn't add any texture and it just like smoothed everything over even my under eyes look really really good they've never looked this good with a pressed powder before so I am incredibly impressed I just went in with a very light amount on like this big fluffy brush like you saw I think it looks really nice so that combination of products looks great together we're doing really really well so far so I'm going in with the Milani sunlight silky matte bronzing powder I use this in a recent drugstore video and I've been really loving it. I've heard that it's a dupe for a lot of different bronzers. I've heard it's a dupe for the Fenty bronzer in the Indie Sun shade and I've heard it's a dupe for the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer. If you haven't tried this bronzer, I highly, highly recommend. It's very smooth, very pigmented. Um, the formula itself, like the creaminess, reminds me of the Physicians Formula bronzers. So this is how the bronzer is looking. I think it's really pretty. I know I like this product. Something I've been doing lately is when I'm think I'm done bronzing I take whatever is left on the brush I don't dip back in at all and I create kind of a wave across the front of my face I feel like it makes the bronzer look more natural and it's not like just in the three area it brings it across in a nice even way and then I've been doing that a slight bit with my blush as well and I feel like it just draws everything together and makes it look nice and cohesive I have MAC light skipade here I'll probably go in with another one at the very end like something more bright and intense this is one of their mineralized skin finish and I'm just highlighting the high points of my face this one's really nice to use as well with like a super light all over face brush to get kind of like an overall glow on the face kind of like the hourglass ambient lighting powders if you go really really softly this can give you the same effect especially if you have fair skin it's a really nice way to just like gently give that glow if you're not an intense highlight person but even for the day today this is a really pretty highlighter now we are going to go in with blush so as I said I have this MAC blush this is one of their mineralized blushes and this is in ray beam I've actually never tried their mineralized blush formula before I've wanted to since I started watching YouTube like 10 years ago but I never have so I'm just gonna go in with my Luxie 504 large angled blush brush and again that mineralized formula gives you that really smooth healthy look to the skin now we are going to go in with brows so I'm gonna be using the Smashbox brow tech matte pencil this is in taupe just like a classic skinny pencil and then i'm also going to brush it through and finish it off with the hard candy brows now fiber brow gel and this is in light medium i use this in a new drugstore products video and i've really really been enjoying it it has a tiny tiny little wand so you can really get in there and get all those hairs so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my brows with these two products now that my brows are on we are ready to go in to eyeshadow so I'm going to be using my P Louise base I'm so excited to finally have this I purchased mine in 01 so there's tons and tons of shades I think this one was a good pick for me because I wanted it to be like slightly lighter than my skin tone just so that shadows can really pop so I'm just gonna go in with a super small bit 
I blend it out with like the corner of my beauty sponge. I just feel like that's the easiest thing to do. And I'm not going to get a super good sense for how it works because I had like concealer and foundation that got on my lids a little bit as well. So I'm going to keep playing with it. I'll let you guys know how I use it. It's going to be better on days that I do my eyeshadow first, but I just wanted to use it today to try because it's new. And we are going to take D1 into our crease. Then I'm going to go in with the tiniest bit of C5 on my outer corner. This one is much more of like a, like a rusty brown red. So I'm just going to focus it more so on the outer corner and then bring it in a little bit. And then I'm going to start to blend that C5 in a little bit with the brush that I packed it on with. And then I'm going back in with that first super fluffy brush and just blending everything together. Now I'm going to go in with B5, which is like the darkest cool toned brown. And I'm going to make a slight smudgy wing just on that outer edge using a brow brush actually, because I don't have any clean eye brushes for this. Then to top that off, I'm going to go in with B1, which is like a light shimmery champagne. And I'm going to take that on my inner like half of the lid-ish. And then to finish it off, I'm just gonna go over the edges of that light champagne shade with the first transition shade in D1 to make sure there's no harsh edges. I did decide that I do want a lash with this, so I'm going in with these guys here. These are the Pro Beauty Essentials Wispies 3D Faux Mink. I'm just going to put those on with my Duo Lash Glue and then I'm prepping my eye lashes with the Essence All Eyes on Me mascara. So I'm having a lot of issues with the inner corners, so honestly just ignore them. They don't look perfect. I might have honestly mixed up the lashes with the inner corner and the outer corner. I'm going to go in with a more blinding highlight because that's what I like. So this is the Catrice Luminize Highlight Palette. I used this in my last most recent of the drugstore video. So I'm just gonna mix the two highlights together here. And on my same R36 brush, I'm just taking that on the high points of my face for a more intense glow. I'm gonna go back in and add a little touch more blush as well, just because I feel like I'm still a little washed out. You guys know I like a pretty prominent blush. Now all that we have left is lip products, so I actually have a bunch of different options. So I recently picked up the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick in Chic Got Real. I thought it was really pretty, it's more of like a blue toned pink lilac. And then I also picked up the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Tea and Cookies, I believe. Yeah, I've always wanted this shade, so I finally decided to pick it up. So I have those that are more like liquid lipsticks. Then I have two Morphe glosses that I picked up. This one is definitely too nude. This is the shade Boho, but I think I could top up my lips with this shade here, which is Pop. So I think that the NYX Lip Suede would go best with this gloss. So that is the common that I'm going to go in with today and I'm going to do a little bit of an overline because that's what I like. I'm so excited to try this lip color. It's a pretty thin formula. I thought it would be thicker with like the lip suede thing. I thought it would be more of like a mousse. I really like this color. It's very pretty and I think it'll go well with the gloss. So this is how the lips are looking with just the NYX Lip Suede. I really, really like this color. It's brighter than I thought it was going to be, but I think it's very pretty. Um, much thinner of a formula than I was expecting. Much, much thinner. I would definitely want a gloss on top because I'm struggling to get full opacity, but I really do like the color. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Morphe Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Pop. I think it'll go really nicely with this liquid lip. I think this look turned out out really pretty minus the lashes I need to fix those they just look ridiculous I think I mix up the left and the right but we'll ignore that we'll pretend it's not happening please do be sure to give this video a like a thumbs up if you did like the video and be sure to subscribe if you weren't already that is everything that I have for you guys today I hope you did enjoy this video and as always I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day bye